Welcome to a quest for metal. Today we're ranking Tool albums from my least favorite to my favorite. Now, Tool is one of my favorite prog bands of all time. I adore every single song. I adore every single album. I'm a massive fucking fan. I'm one of those toxic fans you hear about. If someone says some shit, I'll be just fucking slamming my hand on the keyboards, being like, "You're fucking wrong." But we're here to be kind of. No, we're here to be biased as fuck. It's my own list, it's my ranking, if you don't like it. My word here is law, so this ranking is 100% factual and accurate. So before I get into my list, pop yours down in the comments below. What's your favourite Tool album? What's your least favourite Tool album? And do you hate Tool? Pop Y in the comments below, because it'll always be funny to read people's shit posts. So fucking let's get started. So coming in last is Undertow. Yeah? Undertow, not the fucking latest one, not 10,000 days, fuck you, Undertow is the fucking worst. Um, I say that nicely, I love Undertow, I love all the songs on it, I just feel like it has a different vibe to all the other albums. Um, all the other albums, aside from one, which is very fucking high, has a similar kind of proggy, long songs, epic songs, and I love that shit, I love that shit, I love long songs, love epic songs. Undertow doesn't really have any. It doesn't really have anything epic in this in the uh, album. It has amazing, short, punchy, catchy songs, which I also love. But there's nothing epic about this album. Um, but people have tastes. I prefer the like, long, epic shit. Some people might prefer the short, punchy shit. So if you prefer that stuff, this is probably your number one. You probably like this more. Um, I'm not really into, like... I don't know what I can describe this as. There's not really a band like this. Um, like, I guess if you're into, like, Faith No More and uh, Deftones and shit, you might like this one more. It feels more like that than it does, like, Opeth and Dream Theater and fucking King Crimson and Prog and stuff. Um, so this is the least proggy sounding album by them, and that's the only reason it's last. Because I love all these songs. Swamp Song, I play constantly in my car. I play Swamp Song constantly because that's amazing. I also play Intolerance constantly. What did you tolerate? Tolerate Intolerance. Intolerance is amazing. Bottom's great as well. I, you don't know, you just love saying bottom? Bottom. And Undertow, you know, everything's great on this album. Everything's great. It's just, personal taste wise, I uh, prefer the fucking proggy shit. So yeah, it's going here. Next up, now we come to Fear Inoculum, the latest album by Tool. And this is a grower. This is a grower. Loads of people hated this one. Loads of people said, oh, it doesn't feel the same. And I was in that category. I thought the vocals were too far back in the mix. I didn't think he had as aggressive vocals as in some of the other songs and some of the other albums. Kind of like Undertow. I loved his vocals in Undertow. I, I love them in Anima, if that's how you fucking say it. But his vocals in this, I wasn't the biggest fan of. And that was my main complaint. But, re-listening and re-listening, it kind of seeps into your brain and now I love his vocals, his kind of ethereal angelic vocals on this album. I think it fits perfectly. And I love almost every song on this one. Uh, almost every one, because there's, there's a couple of weird interludes, which I don't like on any of the albums to be honest, but on this one there's also Chocolate Trip, Trip, which eh, it's, it's fine. I want Maynard to sing though. It's fine, but it's not my favourite. The rest, love. Invincible, used to hate. But now I fucking love it. And when he's doing that kind of end section where it's like and he's like kind of fucking <laughs> on the stage doing that because I saw them last year. Fucking amazing. Descending. Saw them play that. Fucking amazing. with The pyramid on stage. Oh my god. But my favourite song from it has to be um, not Jambi. That's from a fucking I was going to say Jambi. What the hell? Uh, what's it called? I might, have to use, I might have to use my phone for this. Um, it is Numa. Numa. It's not even close to Jambi. But Numa just has this groove to it. And when he sings like, Numa, da dun dun da Numa. That, I love it. Absolutely beautiful. And Tempest is great as well. Uh, really long, really fucking awesome. So, nothing but praise for this album. And I think it's underrated. It's not overrated. It's fucking underrated. People are shitting on it for no reason. Call it boring. Ah, oh, tastes a fucking taste, you know. Whatever. For me, I love it. But it's still second last, so fuck it, let's move on before I carry on the whole video about Fear Inoculum. Next up is 10,000 Days. And some people hate this one as well. 
Uh, I fucking adore it. Metal Trench is the little shitbag. He said the only good songs were Jambi Vic Vicarious and The Pot. He said only the singles were the good songs on the album. And I'm like, they're not even the best songs on the album, you fanny. The best songs on the album is Rosetta Stone. Come on, everyone knows that. What an amazing goddamn song that is. Fucking like 10, 12 minutes long and it's about an abduction and he keeps shitting the bed when he's telling the story. God damn, shit the bed. It's the best, one of the best Tool songs ever fucking made. 10,000 Days about a family member dying and he's singing in that, it's so heartfelt. It's beautiful, the melodies are beautiful. If you don't like that song, you fucking have no heart. 10,000 Days is beautiful. Um, those three songs are, yeah, they're still great. Vicarious is probably my favorite out of them. But this also has Right In Two, which is another amazing fucking song. So yeah, this album is a uh, fucking flawless masterpiece, 10 out of 10. And it's only here. Coming in at the number two spot, we have Lateralis. I really wanted to put this one, I love this album, to death, but just one had to be, one had to be fucking Enema. And we'll talk about that later, but let's talk about Lateralis. This has the song Lateralis on, which is a, one of the best songs ever fucking written. One of the best songs ever written, the melodies in it, the intricate passages, his vocals, just, yeah, yeah, sim fitting out she sequence, you just don't know, you don't know what you're talking about if you don't like the song. Uh, no, no, you know, <laughs> it's cool to hate the song if you think it's too pretentious. Uh, I don't think it's pretentious. I just think it's good fucking music. I pop it on and I don't even think about stuff. I got like a caveman brain. Uh, so I don't even fucking care about lyrics most of the time. Lyrics, my lyrics, my lyrics, my lyrics. I don't care about them. In this song though, the music's just fucking good. It's music to my ears. Um, I, I pop lateralis on. If you've never heard of this band, for some reason, I don't know why you're watching this video, never heard of this band, go play Lateralis and you'll understand why it's um, a masterpiece. One, It's one of the best metal songs of all time. I sound like an asshole, <laughs> but I am. So yeah, that song's fucking flawless. Also, also the grudges on this album, which is probably my favorite, ooh, one of my favorites, no, yeah, is my favorite Tool song of all time. Were the grudge like a crown? Negativity, calculate what you... Come on. One of the best choruses fucking ever. The grudge is beautiful. Schism, parabola, ticks and leeches, reflection. Hit after hit after hit. Amazing song after amazing song after amazing song. This is probably one for like a, a lot of people. Um, and I'd be like, yeah, that's a fucking flawless album. No problems whatsoever. Love it to bits. But there can only be one, and that one is a Nima, which has just just more bang for your buck, in my opinion. It has the best of both worlds. It has that kind of edge that Undertow delivered, but it also has the proggy stuff, and it mixes them both into the perfect album. His vocals, edgy. He's the most aggressive on this album. He was kind of grungy on Undertow. On this one, he's aggressive. Hooker with a penis when he's just screaming. <laughs> fucking love it. It's like, stick your fucking finger in your ass, or whatever he says. It's probably, yeah, he does say that, doesn't he? Yeah, he does say that. Um, also on Anima, the title track, where he's like, he just wants to flood everywhere, and like, just, <laughs> he's like, wash it all away. He's like, I don't care about your fucking eyelashes, don't care about your fucking Prozac, or all the medication you take, or your fucking coffee. Just flood Los Angeles. Flood, wash it all away. The singing in this album, is just the best he's ever been. Best he's ever been in this album. And the songs are the most catchy they've ever been. Two, the two ones I just mentioned then, plus Third Eye is another long proggy song, kind of like Rosetta Stoned. And it's just amazing. There's also 46 and two, just ahead of me. Dun, 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 dun. Gotta love 46 and two. Stink Fist is on this album. Fucking Stink Fist. And my favorite song, um, yeah, I said The Grudge is my favourite song, I've changed my mind. Eulogy is my favourite song. Love his, I love the fucking lyrics in this one. I talked shit about lyrics before, but the lyrics in this one, so goddamn good. When he's like, you said you would die for me, don't you fucking lie. And he starts screaming, don't you fucking lie. I love it. Love it. Um, yeah, this, this album is a masterpiece, 10 out of 10. Best, one of the best metal albums of all time, and one of my personal favourite albums of all time. So, that is my list. 
but a Tool ranked. Let me know in the comments below what's your favourite Tool album of all time. What do you think of my list? Would you change it? Do you prefer like the edgier undertow and anima side of a uh, Tool? Do you prefer the newer side? Or something in between? Let me know and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.